Welcome for this lesson. We are going to do physics practical and uh, we are going to look at resistors and among the different types of resistors we have uh, fixed resistors and variable resistors. So in this case we're going to look at one type of a variable resistor and it is called a rheostat. A rheostat. A rheostat was discovered by an English scientist called Charles Wheatstone. So Charles Wheatstone is the gentleman behind the discovery and the functioning of a resistor called rheostat, which we are going to see its main part and how it operates. So one thing we should know about resistors is that uh, resistors are devices which are designed to offer a given resistance and resistance is the opposition to the flow of current. Therefore, the resistance of a given resistor varies depending with the resistivity of the material making the resistor and the resistivity is abbreviated rho. The length of the resistor but inversely proportional to the cross-section area of that resisting wire. Therefore, the length of a resisting wire is directly proportional to the resistance it offers, which means that a resistance wire which is very long will offer a big resistance as opposed to a resistance wire having a small resistance. So this is what we are calling a rheostat, and a rheostat has three terminals, the first one, the second one, and the third one. Therefore, if current is fed through this terminal, then we have it exiting through this terminal. This rheostat, even though it is a variable resistor, it will act as a fixed resistor. But if we feed current through this terminal, then we have it exit through the third terminal here, then we can vary resistance and hence the amount of current to flow using this sliding conduct. So this one is called the sliding conduct, sliding conduct. It is able to move. It is able to move and affect the length of the resisting wire through which the current is going. So we have a resistance wire which has been wound through this material such that if the distance from this terminal where we feed current through to the sliding contact through which current enters so that it may exit through this terminal can be varied. So if this distance can be varied, then it means if we bring the sliding contact to this end, resistance is going to be very small. Since we've said it is directly proportional to length of the conductor. So it means if we turn it to the other side through a small distance, current is going to enter through here and pass through a few turns of this coiled wire, a few turns of the coiled wire, then enter through the sliding contact and exit through that terminal. But if we push it further to this end, current is going to pass through very many turns of the wire, which means through a long resistance. And if the resistance wire is made to be long, then we expect current to pass minimally because resistance has increased due to the increase in length. So we're going to do this one practically, whereby we are going to, <clears throat> to connect current to, to this terminal. Then we have current exiting in the other terminal here. And now in this circuit diagram, we can complete, <clears throat> we can complete the switch. So the circuit is complete like that. The circuit is complete. We have a current entering through this terminal and exiting through the other terminal here. Then we have uh, the batteries fixed here and we have a bulb on the other side. The bulb here can be used to confirm the circulation of current. Therefore now we can see the bulb 
is lighting brightly the bulb is able to light brightly but now if we come to the variable resistor now and increase the length through which the current is going through so current is entering here and immediately it enters the sliding contact and flows to this other terminal completing the circuit if now we increase the length from this terminal to the sliding contact such that we push the contact to the other side we expect the current to be moving through a long distance or through a longer coiled wire which is the resistance wire and now we expect the current to be affected therefore <clears throat> if this one is made to slide to the other side as we continue sliding current is resisted the more and we can see the brightness of the bulb until the resistance is very high such that the bulb cannot light anymore but if again we reduce the length of this coiled wire such that the current is entering through this terminal and getting to the sliding contact within a very short distance current is going to pass maximally because resistance is going to be low therefore we can bring it to the other side now reducing the length of the resistance wire and when we vary when we continue varying when we continue varying <coughs> You can see the more the, the length reduces the bulb starts, starts working again working again and as the distance becomes very small the brightness increases to the maximum so that is the function of the rheostat and how it can be used to vary current so it means instead of the bulb here if we use <coughs> a device called an ammeter then we can also vary the current reading in an ammeter by again adjusting the sliding contact of this device therefore we can replace the bulb with an ammeter and see how current is going to be affected in the ammeter therefore if from uh, this is from the negative this one is from the positive terminal the positive the positive terminal of the ammeter then from the negative we can feed this one to the negative terminal of the ammeter such that now if we complete the circuit by fixing <coughs> the switch like that current is reading a given value 1.5 amperes 1.5 amperes but now if we vary the distance here we expect current to reduce and read a smaller value as we push this sliding contact to the other side you see current is dropping current is dropping until it that's where it can't flow anymore and it goes to zero current is going through a longer resistance wire before reaching the contact so that it may go to the other terminal if we reduce the distance by sliding it to this side such that current is entering through this terminal and getting to the sliding contact within a short distance we expect current to flow a higher amount and you can see as we bring it to this side current again flows to maximum even beyond 1.5 so that is how a rheostat is used to vary the amount of current passing in a given circuit thank you for following subscribe to shifting grades and share this link